The latest Jurassic Park film, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, made a huge splash at the box office last weekend, opening to over $150 million at the box office. And this weekend, it should easily stay atop the charts with another dominant win over the latest contender, Sicario, Day of the Soldado. According to the reports, the second weekend of Fallen Kingdom will bring in another $60 million to $75 million on its second week. The Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard-led tentpole has pocketed over $729 million worldwide to date, including $567 million overseas. Meanwhile, Day of the Soldado, the follow-up to Sicario, is targeting about a $10 million to $13 million opening weekend when it launches in over 2,500 locations. That's on par with the original film, which debuted in 2015 with a $12 million opening weekend. The critically praised drama went on to earn $84 million worldwide off a simple $30 million production budget. Not a big surprise that Jurassic World's gonna come in number one at the box office again for the second week in a row, and I think Incredibles 2 is gonna have some really good legs as well. Both are easily gonna beat out Soldado. Here's the problem. So Soldado's targeted to open about 10 to $13 million. You know that when they greenlit this film, they thought they could do better because the first film was so well received they probably, rightfully so, figured a sequel would do even better. And you know what? All the buzz was there, all the momentum was there, until that last trailer came out. That last trailer that kind of gave away the whole movie, showing that Del Toro eventually turns on the CIA, he's gonna protect this little girl now. They basically gave the whole movie away. And I swear, at that moment, I feel like in the movie fan community, I could feel like using the force, I could feel all the enthusiasm for this movie just die. There was a lot of talk and a lot of buzz about Sicario 2 up until the release of that trailer. And then once that trailer came out, I, being in the position that I'm in, like interacting with people all day, I haven't heard anybody bring up Sicario 2 ever since. That trailer dropped and it feels like most of the interest in that movie also dropped. Now. I haven't seen this film yet. I'm going to be watching it in a couple of days. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be as good as the first one, or at least close to as good as the first one. But oh my goodness, you know they didn't want this movie to open to the same numbers that the first one did. They were hoping to build on the success of the first one. And personally, I attribute all of it to that second trailer. Because I felt enthusiasm. I felt momentum from the fans for this movie leading up to it. And then that trailer hit and it just like all disappeared. So it's really funny. And now it's going to open up probably in third place. Now maybe it always is going to open in third place behind Jurassic and behind Incredibles 2. Sure, but you had to figure it was going to open to more than $10 million, maybe $13 million. If the film's good, here's hoping it does better. If it's not good, well, then maybe it's getting what it deserves.